In 2014, Thailand retailing industry showed a recovery sign from the political instability, with a 5.3 percentage growth in value sale. Consumers, however, continue to spend on their daily necessity by buying grocery products, but continue to tighten their budget for shopping therapy. Singapore is expected to see stable growth for store-based retailing in 2015. This is contributed by a growing trend of megastore retailers such as Big Box, The Warehouse Club by Fairprice, and Gain City, which have managed to attract consumers with low prices and wide variety of products. In 2015, Indonesian rupiah still continues to weaken versus 14. And on top of that, basic living costs are still increasing. This reduces average household disposable income, which impacts retail industries. Nonetheless, Indonesian huge population and significant size of middle-income households will provide a good platform for more positive outlook. For India, we expect mobile internet retailing to be a significant channel in terms of growth for retailing in the forecast period. During 2014 and 15, a large number of internet retailers shut down their desktop platforms and switched purely to mobile internet retailing. This is expected to continue over the forecast period as well, thereby helping mobile internet retailing emerge as a strong channel. Retailing in Japan grew by 2% in value terms in 2014, um, driven by such factors as the government's economic growth policy, uh, known as Abenomics, the VAT increased from 5-8% to 8 and the record high number of foreign tourists visiting Japan. Um, over the next five years, especially as Japan prepares for the Tokyo Olympics in 2020, the retailing industry in Japan is forecast to maintain steady growth.